Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. This is the eighth game of this <clears throat> April 8, 2022 NBA game day. <clears throat> Phoenix Suns with a record of 63 and 17 visiting Utah Jazz with a record of 48 and 32. The game will be at 9:30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 9:30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Alright? Let's take a quick look at the Western Conference standings so that we'll have an idea as to how these two teams have been lately. Phoenix Suns, they are at number 1 in the Western Conference and the entire NBA at that. For their last 10 games, they have won 7. Approaching this game, uh, the Phoenix Suns are coming off a loss. While Utah Jazz, they are at number 5 in the West. For their last 10 games, they have only won 4 times, so they are a bit shaky. But approaching this game, the Jazz have won back-to-back. -back. On this game, Utah Jazz would have the home court advantage. In terms of momentum, although uh, Suns, they are coming off a loss. If, since they have won 7 out of their last 10, I would still give the advantage towards Phoenix Suns in here. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams are coming off their rest day. So let's just go ahead and check on the injury list for both teams. I'm looking at Phoenix Suns now. I only see one player out, and that, and that is Dario Saric. For Utah Jazz, two players are listed down here, um, Azubuki and Forrest. Now I'm checking on the spread. It opened up with minus 2.5 for Utah Jazz. And as we speak, it just increased a bit. It is now at minus 3. Not really sure why the spread is that much. Um, it doesn't show that uh, the starters of Utah Jazz, of, I, I don't know, I mean, <coughs> Phoenix Suns um, are hurt. Um, I know they were uh, tagged as questionable uh, previously, but... Um, right now, I don't see any like anything like that. Um, yes, there is a possibility uh, that the, the minutes may be limited uh, for Booker, for Chris Paul, and Aiton because, man, they are already in. They are already the number one team. So um, if I were the coaching staff, I would also try to preserve these players so that they will be so fresh and any of, uh, any of those injuries that they have, may it be major or minor, you know, uh, would be at least minimal. Uh, for Utah Jazz, they want this game more than Phoenix Suns because uh, Utah Jazz, again, uh, it's it's just uh, now that they've uh, grabbed like a back-to-back -back wins lately. They have been shaky. They have been inconsistent. So if they can actually grab this win and uh, continue the uh, continue the streak into three games, man, that that will be a huge, huge help for them coming onto the playoffs. Uh, That's gonna be a boost to their confidence and to their morale. Um, this is going to be hard, hard though, because we don't know what's in the head of uh, the coaching staff of Phoenix Suns, whether they would let their starters play or not. But I think Utah Jazz would want this, uh, you know, would want this more. That's why I would just go with Utah Jazz. And I think um, Phoenix Suns, they don't have to prove anything in this regular season anymore. They are already the number one team, and perhaps they will just, uh, you know, some of the some of the minutes will be. Uh, just given to the to their bench players. So I'm picking Utah Jazz on this with the minus three on it. Utah minus three. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.